All right, guys, um, here I'm going to show you how to create an attribute. Um, and, and there's two different kind of attributes you can do. You can do a game attribute or a self-actor attribute. And I'm going to show you how to create both of those and the difference between the two. Um, so first we'll start with a game attribute. And if you uh, click up here to game, um, and right underneath it, uh, you'll see attributes. Now these are the attributes that are already set up. They're the default attributes for your game. And um, to simply create a new one, you just click on the plus sign, as always and there are six options for attributes and we'll explain those options later. Uh, for right now I'm going to create an integer attribute and select choose. To rename that just double click and I'm going to name this random number. Okay, and so that's basically how you create a game attribute. And basically, this attribute is accessible to every actor uh, within the game. Okay, and then now I'm going to show you. Uh, I've created a actor here, um, and we're going to go in and create uh, an attribute for this actor. Um, and again, it's the plus sign here. Here's the attributes uh, for this actor. Hit the plus sign, and again, I'm going to go integer and choose. And this one here we're going to call the same thing. Random number. Okay. And so basically what this is is um, it's an attribute for this this actor itself. And so therefore you can have many instances of this actor. So you can put six copies of this actor on the scene. Um, and now with um, with an attribute within itself, um, you can have all the same actors, different instances, react differently. Uh, which is very handy for uh, random gameplay. And I'll, I'll show you the two differences here. So let's go back. Um, and actually, sorry, stay in here. And I put a display text in here. So we're going to tell it to display text. And we're going to tell it to display the random number from the game attribute. You can see game.randomNumber. And then we're going to put a quick rule here. I'm going to go timer. After one second, change attribute. And you don't need to, you don't need to know what I'm doing here. We'll explain this stuff later on. But uh, I'm going to tell it to change that attribute random number to actually a random number between 1 and 9. And go OK. And I'm going to change the, the color here. OK, so let's go back. And I'm going to add a bunch of these to the scene. A couple more. OK, now watch when I press Preview. When I press Preview, you can see that all the instances of that actor are reacting the exact same way because it's taking the attribute from the game, the global attribute. Um, and now I'll show you the difference when you do a self attribute. So let's go back into that actor. And we're going to tell it, instead of displaying the game random number, we're going to tell it to display self random number. And self is always um, the actor you're working on. Um, so let's go down here. It is self.random number. Now down here we're going to go every one second, change self dot random number to a number between one and nine. So now when you see if I hit preview, you'll notice that all these numbers are now random numbers. They're not identical. And this is good for when you want actors to um, go in their own random direction. Um, even though they're, the, they're identical actors, they're all actor six, um, but you have multiple instances of them on the scene, um, they have a mind of their own. Um, and that's basically the difference between a game attribute and a self attribute. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the forum. And I'm sure someone will be happy to help you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.